gone in a couple weeks. We got out for our break, and then last week was full of craziness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but we're gonna draw something today. We're going to be drawing a Draco lizard. So I thought I should bring my little friend here. This is my daughter's lizard. He's a bearded dragon, and he loves to eat kale. You want somebody? <laughs> His name is Cricket. Actually, her name. I keep calling it a him, and my daughter fusses at me, but it's actually a her. But her name is Cricket, and she loves kale, and she loves fruit, and she loves to eat crickets. <laughs> but I'll let her wander off, and then we'll get to drawing. How's that sound? Maybe she can draw with us. We'll see if she'll hang out. I'll put her kale over here. All right. We're going to start our Draco lizard by drawing its head. To draw its head, I'm just going to start with kind of almost like a football shape. Ooh, does this look like food? <laughs> I'm going to start with almost a football shape. But hey guys, I had to put Cricket up because he kept trying to eat my marker. <laughs> but that's okay. I didn't want him to hurt himself. So, we're gonna start without him. He can watch from over there. But, I'm going to start drawing my Draco lizard by drawing just the head shape. And to do that, I'm almost gonna do like a football shape. It's gonna be like a curve and a curve that go together. But I'm gonna leave the bottom part open. So, I'll curve here. And then I'm gonna start at the top and curve back down the other way like an eyeball, like a football, but I left that little space there. Now his body is gonna go in this middle section, but I'm gonna leave some holes for his arms. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna stop, okay? Now his arm, I'll leave a little space there for his arms, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm going to jump a space and I'm gonna curve around. I'll do that on the other side to jump a space and curve around. So you see I left these little holes for the arms. And then I'm gonna leave a hole for the leg. Whoop! And leave a hole for the leg. Whoop! And this is where I'm gonna put my tail. So I'm just gonna do a fun little curvy line for a tail. And then I wanna copy that. I'll start here and I'll go using that same little line. Try to keep them as parallel as I can but I wanna get a little closer every single time. So I'm gonna follow him around, getting a little closer. Oh, he's curving this way as well, I'm curving this way. Oh my gosh, he's curving around. I'm curving with him. Boop, touch at the bottom. See what I mean? That's how you do tails, it's super fun and easy. So I have my lizard's body. Now for the arms and the legs, one cool thing about lizard arms and lizard legs to make them look right, it's almost like two rectangles. They go like this kind of thing. <laughs> one's going this way and one's going that way. But you want to have them kind of working like the top legs point up and the bottom legs point down. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to do my top ones. I'm going to start with like almost a, with two little lines. It would be a rectangle, see what I mean? But I went line, line. And I'm going to go line, line. So see how these are slanting up? Now for the bottom two, I'm going to go line line and then i'm gonna go line line see how those are slanting down and then i'll make that bottom one come out a little more a little more and i want them to go upward upward okay i'll make the top one come out a little more on this side and then i'm gonna make these with two lines coming downward like that and I'm just going to give him some spiky little toes. Spike, 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 spike. Okay? My lizard's body is almost done. Now, lizards are really fun because they have cute little eyes. If you saw, um, if you saw Cricket's eyes, they were these big bulbous things on the side of his head. So I'm gonna kind of do that by drawing a s oval on both sides. Okay, like oval, oval. And I'm gonna do a little curvy line and a little curvy line and 
put his eyeball right there. Whoop, whoop. So he's like looking forward. And I give him two little noses. And I love how lizard tongues stick out. You saw Cricket's tongue when he was licking my marker. So I might have a little lizard tongue sticking out. Bloop. Like that. Okay. I could put some little frills on his head if I wanted to. Draco lizards have those as well as bearded dragons. Now for the fun part. We're gonna make our lizard fly. To do that, I'm gonna put a little rectangle, a skinny little rectangle going this way and a skinny little rectangle going this way. Those are kind of like the tops of his wings. And for the wing themselves, it kind of frills down a little bit. They're almost, they almost look like insect wings. It's kind of interesting. Or like little bat wings in a way. So I'm just gonna kind of go whoop, 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 like that. And we can put some fun little patterns in there in just a second. So his little wings, they went, they pouched out. You could have like some lines where they fold up kind of going like that, you know, these little dragon-like wings. And I could put some more little bumps going down the middle of his back. Maybe these keep going down the tail, and I want to follow the tail around to keep that going in the middle. I could put some little bumpy scales. We're just adding nice little details to make him look more interesting. And when we add our color to him, these little details are really going to pop out and look nice. All right, now, I am gonna have my lizard flying. But he's so high, he's flying so high in the, in the sky that I'm gonna make him look like he's flying over the world. So I'm gonna put some, maybe some continents down here. So maybe I'll put, maybe down here, I've got North America. <laughs> And it's going down into South America down here. And maybe over here, kind of slanty, I'll put Africa starting to be formed. And then I'll have some of Europe above like that. You can see the little tip of, of uh, Iceland or Greenland or something. I don't know. <laughs> put some little islands below. And it's not perfect. I'm not looking at a map. I can't really remember exactly. But... Now he's flying over the world. He's our airliner lizard. I love him. So I might add just a couple more little details and we'll put some color on this bad boy. I hope you enjoyed drawing the Draco lizard. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Cricket for a minute. Draco means dragon. So it's kind of the dragon lizard and that's a bearded dragon. So I thought he could enjoy the fun. All right, let's add some color. Maybe Cricket will come back. Let's see. <laughs>